Techniques are a great part of the practice and a lot, especially if they're done in the right way, can be learned by them. But um, this aspect of the art gets so little attention. And so I wanted to leave you with practices that you can do with your students or with your friends or partners or whatever um, because uh, it's a little like I was saying, it's like you just start the, the breath and stuff starts to come to you. You start playing with these practices, you'll get ideas of how to make them better, or how to make them more fun, or whatever it is that you're into. And, um, and like I say, then if you screw around with them a little bit, you'll see, well, God, that seemed like a waste of time, or God, I think I was a little more sensitive in this situation, or that situation, or gee, I... And that's certainly been true for me, so that's why I share them. I hope they have that value for you, but it comes out of your practicing them. Uh, what we're doing here is kind of introducing them, although I think you're doing amazing well. Did you have a couple where you just were really surprised at how perfect your timing was? You know, that was an accident. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's there, folks. It's called proximity sense. Try and sneak up on a wild animal and you can't. They can feel you coming a mile away. And yet, we stand in elevators, we ride on buses, we blah, blah, blah. We've shut down that magnetic sensing awareness. And, you know, it could be a little disturbing if, you know, all that energy was overwhelming you. But if you got enough ground, I think you can turn it back on, be much more sensitive to your environment. And um, you'll find you just seem to interact better in every situation. This is a story. You find out whether or not it's true. Are we good so far? As soon as you get into this state, magical stuff starts to happen. And uh, now you, I, try and do magical stuff but like Pops. You just completely screwed the harmony of the universe. But once you're there in your own one plus one equals one, oh, Sensei called it reciprocating echoes. You're always generating reciprocating echoes. It, it can be a little bit whatever, but my sense is if you move and they aren't attacking, you just look like an idiot. <laughs> Haven't you done that before? Okay. Um, but if you, if you don't trust that inner force in that way, uh, I think sometimes you, you marry the wrong person or, or some you know, horrendous decisions get made. And, and uh, I'm not saying that this is going to guarantee you anything or make you safe or anything like that. I'm saying play with it. See what kind of messages you get as you start to work with it. Play with the indications and evidence and apply it as you feel is appropriate.